Hi, I'm Jonathan from Pet Massage and here with Camille. Today we're going to be talking about lymphatic drainage and how it can enhance the health and happiness of your dog. Okay, we're going to be talking today about the lymphatic system. You probably heard the term lymphatic drainage and that's manual manipulation of the lymph and that's usually not done with dogs and so we're going to talk about some other ways of moving the lymph around in the dog's body. Hmm, you may not know what lymph is. So lymph is a clear watery fluid that is part of the lymphatic system and the lymphatic system is the, uh, the white blood cells in your body. They are drawn to an area within the blood to help purify filter the blood and, uh, and help with injured areas. It, it uh, filters out the bacteria, cancer cells, and that sort of thing. So whenever there's an injury, the lymph flows to that area, increases the fluid level, presses up against the muscles, and re restricts movement. We talked about that in a different video, but what happens? So that's the lymphatic system. So it's a process of filtering and moving the lymph out of the system. Now the lymph doesn't move because there's no pump actually, like the heart pumps the blood around the body. So the lymph needs to be moved through changes in internal pressure. So, and so the lymph nodes, which is the area that processes and stores the lymph, um, are in specific, very strategic parts of the body. The major ones are in the, the big joints. So when there's movement, it's going to be changing the, um, the pressures inside the body to flush out or uh, express the lymph through the joints so that, so that old lymph can get out and fresh new lymph can, can flow, flow in. So I'd like to share with you just how subtle this motion has to be. It's any kind of motion is going to move this. So there's something called the, uh, this is your clavicle right here, your collarbone, okay? So there's some, here's a supraclavicular <laughs> uh, drainage that we can do. And so I'm gonna take my hands and put my fingertips in these little hollows by my collarbone. And I'm going to just raise my arms and lower them. Raise my arms and lower. And what that does, that's enough movement to express the lymph nodes that are around in this area underneath my jaw, in front of my scapula, and in my armpit or, or the axillary. So um, this is how subtle it can be. So with the dogs, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show, first of all, let me show you where most of the lymph nodes are. There's over 600 lymph nodes in the body. Uh, but we're going to just talk about the main ones because I don't want, to, I don't want you to get uh, overwhelmed with, with information here. So the ones that are just underneath the jaw are, is one. So swollen glands, it's a lymph node, okay? In front of the scapula. So when any kind there's motion in the shoulder, that's going to be expressing the lymph node here. In the axilla, in the armpit, so any kind of motion like this is going to be expressing that. In the groin, is called the inguinal lymph node. Um, so movement of the rear leg is going to be express is going to be moving that. And behind the popliteal or behind the, the kneecap, um, motion like this is going to also be expressing that, that motion. So here, I'm going to show you with the dog. Uh, there's also another series of lymph nodes that are important. There's a, a little one right here called the thymus gland, right in front of the heart. And then the biggest one in the body is called the spleen, and that's nestled right up against the diaphragm. So when your dog exercises, or you exercise, and you're breathing heavily from your diaphragm, that pushes down on the spleen and helps express, um, or help the, the, helps the lymph drain out. So let me, uh, sweetie, can you sit for me for just, just a little bit? I'm just gonna show, this is manual manipulation of the lymph. It's just, I'm gonna pick up the arm, stretch, Bring the arm back and put it down. Let's do this a couple times. That's nice. Okay, we'll do it this side. And, and stretch. Bring it up and down. Up, stretch, up, down. We're gonna pick up the head and we'll just stretch over to the top, over to one side, over to the other side. Hello, over on this side. Come on over to this side. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, so these are some examples of 
uh, manual manipulation, uh, so passive limb movement. Another one is when um, the lymph is in a really important, significant place in the joint. So it's the lymph nodes are nestled right up against the flexor muscle attachments in the joint, which means so that when there's flexion, that expresses um, uh, the lymph. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to rock the puppy, rock her back and forth. And so if you look at her paws here, so every time I push over, she, her, she grabs. And so when she's grabbing here, that's flexing the muscles in the paw, in the elbow, in the shoulder, working the, the axillary uh, lymph node, the prescapular lymph node, and also she's catching herself with her neck, so that's working these lymph nodes here. And you really can't see it there, but it's also, she's also catching herself with her inguinal uh, lymph nodes and the ones behind her uh, stifle. So this is great. Uh, if we can get her to stand up, stand up, baby girl. Oh, she's a lazy girl today. Oh, okay, so now I'm going, to, I'm going to rock her this way, and this is going to be affecting all the lymph nodes on the anterior or underside of the spine. So when the dog's spine twists and curls like that, moves up, this way, this way, side to side, that's expressing the lymph nodes on the underside here. And so um, you think about it. If you have a dog that is an older dog that doesn't get out for very much exercise, or an indoor or apartment dog, uh, or a dog that has had an injury and is kind of laid up and is, is uh, uh, confined to crate, this kind of exercise is really essential for maintaining uh, the well-being of your dog. So this is uh, working with increasing the lymphatic movement of the dog. Uh, there's one other way. So we've done the manual manipulations with uh, moving the limbs. And we've done the rocking so the dog catches themselves from the inside out. And there's another way which, which I find really interesting. And this is really right here. So there is a way to engage the dog's chase reflex with moving the lymph. And this is, we call this brushing. It's a light scratching over the lymph node with just your fingertips. And it's a light motion. It's kind of like a... Uh, you're in the bathtub and you have a piece of little blue floating lint that you're trying to move toward the grain and you're just kind of pushing the water and pushing the water. It's that kind of gentle motion. So it's just light scratching over here and the lymph flows along with the venous blood flow. So it's always going back to the heart. Here we go. Over the submandibular, over the scapula, going the direction toward the midline. Axillary, inguinal, popliteal, spleen, going up toward the heart. Spleen is below the diaphragm, so we're going to go up toward the heart. And we're just going to do over the top line of the dog. And this is one of the reasons why scratching is so effective, just light scratching. And that is going to be helping with the lymphatic flow. And this is why we feel so good after we exercise. It's because we've got all our lymphatic juices flowing and all the toxins that have been stuck in our joints um, expressed and drained out. Lymphatic drainage has a tendency to be a little bit deep uh, and could possibly injure the dog. The techniques that I showed you are very gentle and safe and I think are as equally effective. So, how do you feel? I, <laughs> I think she feels fine. <laughs> Lymphatic drainage for your dog. It's great. It's, it's good for them. I include it in every uh, massage that I work with. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you understand more about lymphatic drainage and lymphatic expressions and, uh, and how much you can help your dog. And I hope you use it with your dog. We have new videos coming out every Tuesday at 2 o'clock, our new releases. Uh, click on the bell and get notifications for when they come out and uh, check out our website. We've got uh, some very interesting things on there uh, at petmassage.com. I'll see you next time.